Hello hello mambo vipi? I hope mko poa. Um Emmanuel Salano hapa. And uh, guys, mtakuwa mkiona this face on this channel very very frequently. Yes, and I'll be tackling a lot of things which includes politics and uh, also entertainment. I'll be comment doing a commendation on such uh, uh, things. So today, I nataka kuanza na history ya Morara Kibasu. We all know that uh, Morara Kibasu has been doing civic education all over the country. And uh, for those, just those who do not know. Anyway, guys, before I go further, you can consider giving this video a like so that this video can get recommended because we want to amplify the voice of the youth in Kenya. We will talk and we will not be silenced by anyone despite the fact that uh, the government is doing or making a lot of effort to silence the youth. It's not going to work. It might work temporarily, but... <laughs> Uh, in, in the long run, the people have the highest or they we have the voice, okay? Like we are the voice of this country. And um, mina amini, mina amini kitu moja, okay? Eh, kuna, kuna watu wanasema, kuna watu, kuna watu wanasema ati, ah, wachana yu tumiachia Gen Z, wachana yu tumiachia nani. Personally, mimi si Gen Z, I'm a millennial. But eh, I can tell you for sure that... Uh, if we all unite, the millennials, especially the late millennials, not the, the early, but everybody can just join. Kwani hii inchi ni nani? I believe hii country ni ya kila mtu. Hakuna mtu wata moja mwenye hii country si yake. Hii country ni yetu sisi wote na that's why Morara Kebasu anaishi ya kisema. Kenya ni home, okay? Kenya ni home. This is our country and we have every right to talk about the situation that is happening on our country. So, just to take you back a little bit. Kuna scandal mob sana or there is a lot of things enye kibasu amekuwa akijaribu kuzileta kwa limelight. Sindio? Amekuwa kileta a lot of things, uh, the, the stalled government projects where millions and millions of money have been pumped. And uh, uh, guys, well, I remember very well some of the people that were talking or some of the people that were reacting said uh, that uh, all these things that are happening, all these things that are happening... Uh, Murara Kibaso at some point he's going to be stopped and who is going to stop him? The government. Not just the government but Tunaza Semani Ruto. Okay? Because Ruto is the one who runs the government or rather his advisors or whatever. But that's not the point. So they tried employing state machineries, state bloggers, that is what I'm trying to mean, to come and, uh, you know, tone down Morara Kibaso so that to make Morara Kibaso look uh, irrelevant and make sure that information that he's giving out there, that information doesn't count so much and also that information uh, seek to enyineza patia wa Kenya wasiwasi. So you guys do not have to worry. And... um. They tried to challenge his even education credibility, which is very, very low. Like, unataka kuniambia, mama shosho mflani hibi ya kuhuko uh, Gatundu, ama kuhuko Mount Kenya, ama kuhuko Kisumu Kondele, ama kuhuko uh, Western Nabaholo, ama kuhuko Mombasa, huko hivo Mkindoni or whatever name tuneza ipatia. Uyo mama juhajaenda shule, uyo baba juhajaenda shule, akitoka amwe anze kusema, uh, guys, unajua nini? Tuko na hii project enye gava ilianzisha, but hii project gava imepump pesa nyingi, but hii pesa haionekani. Tuko na shule, government imepatiana milioni tano, na government enyewe haijatengeneza hiyo ama contractors hawajatengeneza hiyo nini, hiyo shule. So, unataka kuniambia mama kama huyo akikuja na anze kusema, no, we need accountability for that. We should also counter her and ask her, where is your education? How ya soma? So, you want to tell me in this country, the only way we have to speak about something or the only way we have to voice ourselves is if we go to school, if we attain university uh, degrees that is when we can be able to question the government but if we've gone to school even if we've been to form four or you've been in class eight and you failed you don't have any right to question the government guys if that's ballocks then if that is not ballocks then tell me what is if that is not delusional thinking then tell me that what is because at this point it doesn't make sense any anymore like it literally doesn't
the government has tried all this okay it has tried all this it has tried shutting him down it has tried discrediting him they have even launched they even launched a campaign which i'm a hundred percent sure they used millions of taxpayers money to give to bloggers so that they can say that this guy is nothing but a con man and a beggar because you know uh, for him to be going throughout the country, he needed funds to at least facilitate his movements here and there. There is fuel, there is food, there is accommodation to the places that he's been going. Now, they used that, uh, they tried, actually not they did, they didn't use, they tried using that against him so that it can turn people against him. But also that seemed to have failed. Okay, at some point, it got to Mirana Kebasu and he even said, ah, you know what, guys, I'm going to quit this thing because you guys are calling me a con man. And a lot of people called him out like, are you for real? We we have been cheering you on. We have been supporting you financially only for you to come and give up. Come on, stop that nonsense. And then he was back on his feet and said, OK, for those people that are trying to call me a con man, I'm going to refund all your money so that you can no longer call me a con man. Right. So, guys, <laughs> it got a little bit twisty because now when this guy, that failed because Murara decided to come out and say, you know what, guys, I'm very sorry uh, that I had to say all those things that I said about giving up and all that. I know you guys have been standing for me. So I'm going to get back on my feet and do what is required of me. I'm not going to give up like I wanted to give up. Okay, so I am going to keep on fighting. So, uh, Gava Ikaona, uh, okay, now that uh, this guy is not relenting, he wants to keep on going. We saw that he was involved in an accident. Somebody hit him. And again, guys, one thing that you guys do not understand is that, uh, you know, Kenyans, Kenyans, I, I really, uh, okay, honestly, I'm proud to be Kenyan because Kenyans are those people, they are Kenyans are the best investigative team ever, not just the DCI, but even Kenyans themselves. So a little bit here of a, a little bit of a, a digging and researching. Some people found that when that guy that was involved in an accident uh, with Morana Kebaso, uh, who ran away, the guy actually attended one of the rallies that Morana Kebaso was at. His picture was clearly shown under uh, the picture of the same same person who tried to hit Morara. So what happened is uh, the guy fled the scene. I do. I, I can't say for sure that the guy has been caught or not because um, not a lot of details has has come out or have come out about what really happened. But come on, guys. We all know that those are some of the ploys that are being used by the government. They just don't want to admit it. Okay. They just don't want to admit it. Now, yesterday, Jana. I was I, I I I had just sat down and I saw a notification that uh, you know what Morana Kibaso is missing he's nowhere to be seen that guy has been abducted and the abductees or the abductors okay uh, I know some of you will come here and start countering my English I didn't go to school <laughs> okay I'm homeschooled so leave me alone challenge the information that i'm giving don't challenge my english <laughs> sometimes we kenyans can be something else anyway that is not uh oh, that is not uh, the, the, uh, what i intended to put out but uh after people started demanding to know where morana kibaso is uh, it was uh noted that uh, he was abducted by some of uh okay basically government agents who took him in a non location i am not sure as the time of recording this video i don't know if uh morana kebasu was taken to a police station or he was taken somewhere else i do not know so if there is any person who is watching this video and knows uh, further information or maybe probably uh i'll have known the information later because uh, of course i will but as of now as the time of me recording this video nobody knows where morara kebaso is but what we know for sure is that the government decided to abduct him in the middle of the night so he had rented and not even basically rented he was gifted an apartment somewhere in kawasukari i think kawasukari 
and um, he was using that as an office where he can coordinate his own things and uh, because he wants to go on a full scale a, a full a full scale eh? civic education so that's why the office was uh, makes sense right the office makes sense but now guys one thing that i know for sure is that uh, it's not going to be easy for Ruto, especially now when people keep on disappearing and disappearing every single now. And I would also want to know what are the charges? Why why would people arrest somebody for trying to educate people on how to hold the people in power accountable? What is the charge there? I wonder, or what are the charges that they are going to cook for him to be arrested? Because I don't know. Incitement? what i don't know i don't know but this regime can come up with anything and you just end up disappearing i just hope that is not what they're going to do because if that happens guys i'm telling you this country is going to burn it's going to burn if it happens it's going to burn it's not going to be easy it's going to be dark in kenya it's going to be dark all right and in case he's arrested, they should let people know where has he been taken, where is he held, so that people uh, and other Kenyans of goodwill can come and uh, probably maybe rescue him, or if it's bail or fine. People will come through for Morara Kibasu. A lot of people love what he's doing. Basically, like me, I like what he's doing, because what he's doing is trying to educate people. He's trying to show people that, you know what? Do not be afraid of calling out your member of parliament. Do not be afraid of calling out the members of county assembly. Do not be afraid of calling out your president, your PS, and every person, your cabinet secretaries. Do not be afraid of calling them out if they are not performing their mandated duties. Okay? And guys, I can say that he's really impacted a lot of people and actually he has even inspired a lot of people into sober thinking, into knowing that, you know what, I can hold these people responsible. If I am going to a hospital where we don't have enough medicine, I have to ask, what is the Ministry of Health doing? Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. Uh, like I said earlier, please hit that like button on this video so that it can also be recommended to other people. We need to pass as much as much information about this whole scenario or this whole thing. And we also need more Kenyans to come out and start speaking out. Do not just keep quiet while you're seeing evil happens. If you keep quiet and you're seeing these things happening, that means you are also facilitating evil. Or you are also facilitating the detrimental fall of our country. We will fall if you don't step up. This is our country, Kenyan home. Okay? I have kids that are going to need a, a good Kenyan. A good and a good Kenya will make me not to feel like I need to take my child to Australia so that my child can get proper education. I need to take my child to USA. No, I need to make my child study here in Kenya and still compete with other world-class country. But we cannot do that if we keep on saying mtuwetu, 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 no. We can't go anywhere with that. Mtuwetu can never ever take you anywhere. When did mtuwetu ever come to your house and put food on your table? I highly doubt they've ever done that. Anyway guys, thank you so much. I am your host, Emmanuel Salano, or you can call me Michael. Nita Itika, thank you and see you in the next one.